Hey there YouTube, what's up, it's Matt Carl. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own folding longboard. This is a full 40 inch longboard that can fold up and it's about half the size so it's a lot easier to travel with. So, let's get started. So I started the project with a blank longboard deck. I actually made this board from scratch so if you're interested in building a longboard too, you can click on the screen and they'll take you to that video. I'll also link it in the description. Um, so the first thing I did was cut the board in half about an inch from the center of the board with a miter saw. Using a template I had, I then drilled out the holes for the trucks. You can find this on my How to Build a Longboard video as well, and I'll also link it down below. I then bought two door hinges that will allow the board to fold in half, and so I laid them in place and sketched the area where the pin would sit on the deck. Now I did this because if you look at the hinges from the side when it's laying flat, the pin actually dips down. So you'll need to make a corresponding cavity in the board that will allow for the hinges to sit properly. Uh, I did this simply with a, a Dremel with a sanding drum tool attachment, making sure to take your time and not to take too much material off. Uh, I then marked the holes for the screws and drilled some pilot holes and then installed the screws uh, to secure the hinges to the board. Uh, these screws came with the hinges that I bought from Home Depot. Um, so now you can see that the board folds up nicely, but the screws were a little bit too long and popped through the top of the deck. So I used my Dremel tool again, this time with a cutoff wheel, and removed the ends of the screws so that they sat flush with the top of the board. Um, now it's time to test the board to make sure that it would actually hold my weight. Uh, I did some calculations and the numbers checked out, but it's always good to double check and make sure, and it held my weight just fine. But that being said, I didn't really like how the board folded a little bit too far while holding my weight. So to fix this issue, I cut a piece of 1 8 inch wood scrap that I used to make the board and glued it to one of the inside faces and that seemed to fix the issue no problem. Uh, I then had to use my Dremel tool to sand the wood scrap so that it sat flush with the top of the board again. Uh, I then moved forward with taping a pinstripe design on the top and bottom of the board um, to, to stain the board with the design. Um, and to use the stain, I used a water-based mahogany wood stain on the top and bottom of the board. And it's important to use a water-based stain since I plan to seal the board with polyurethane. Um, so to do that, I used um, uh, a little wire and held the board by the bolt holes and uh, applied the polyurethane to the top, bottom, and all sides of the board. That will make it essentially uh, waterproof. Uh, I then finished the board by putting the trucks and wheels back on and applying the grip tape. That wraps it up. You have a fully functional working longboard that can fold into uh, half the size. And this is really convenient uh, for traveling. You can just throw this into a carry-on and uh, you don't have to worry about it not fitting. Or, you know, just walking around. You can uh, hold it like this and you don't have to worry about bumping into anyone. Uh, so if you guys have any questions on how I made this, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. Um, or if you built something similar based on this video, make sure to uh, send it my way on Twitter at, at MattCarl. Uh, and if you guys like these types of tutorial videos, be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, and I'll see you around. Thanks for watching.